as soon as you're done removing them from the top, flip laptop and remove all of them in the bottom. It's actually almost 10 of them. As soon as you loosen all of them, just very very carefully not to lose them, flip it upside down and they will fall. The total count of them is 12. Some of them didn't fall off. It means that they still tightened. When all 12 of them was removed, those from the bottom, this is from the top all of them the same length that's why it's better to take a mini bag to write on it F5 and to place all of them into this bag not to mix them then seal it and put it away the next will be removal of F3 bolts not that much many as F5, I only see two of them. Alright, two F3 balls removed from the top and also it doesn't say here that it's F3, but one more F3 bolt is, he is here, very very close to DVD-ROM. Total amount of F3 bolts is 3. Put them in a, in a bag and put it away. The next, before you remove the top cover, you have to remove this cable. And this one is responsible for the power button disconnect him and then disconnect this touchpad cable and the top cover is removed put it away when the top cover was removed as you can see it's pretty dusty everywhere maybe even this is the reason why there is no video maybe there is some wet human dust which is shortening something on a motherboard. Maybe it's a problem with GPU and it need to get his reflow. We will find it out. That's why you have to disconnect all those cables. This one, this one, this one LVSD um, from, from the motherboard and to remove it. Here you just using the flat screwdriver and pulling this cable out. This just put it up, simply remove it. Here on the LVSD connection there is protective tape which is secure in the connector on place. When you release it, just press like this and the LVSD cable should, should come out. Here we go. Then there is some mounting screws which are mounting the motherboard to the lower cover. This screw, there is an arrow here and here. You have to remove them. There is two arrows, right and left. And there is one more screw located right here. If 
from the other side of the board there is a power connector which providing power to the motherboard. Disconnect him. As soon as power connector is disconnected, the motherboard is taken out. This just put temporarily away, you don't need to deep clean it. On the motherboard itself, especially in a cooling fan and heat sinks, we see some dust. Not that much, just the light amount. We obviously cannot say that this motherboard is very dusty. Some of it is here, some of it is right there. And from the other side, this protective tape need to be removed as well, since there is dust under it. Maybe this is why this causing for video to be gone. In the same moment, I believe that GPU which located right here need to get his reflow since the video is gone. That's why we need to remove the heat sink. To remove the heat sink, we need to use Philips 1/8 screwdriver and remove those bolts. Those bolts have springs. You can see them. Disconnect fan power connector and you removing the heat sink. Almost all thermal compound is gone on CPU, is very dry. The GPU have this one. Put, put it away, need, need to be cleaned, the heat sink need to be cleaned. And remove protective tape from the other side of the motherboard since we will be cleaning the whole board and then we'll do reflow. And a huge amount of dust is everywhere. Remove the CPU, the screwdriver, control clockwise to release the lock. CPU is removed. Start cleaning the motherboard. Before as well, it's better to remove Wi-Fi, extension card, 1.8 Philips, two screws. Just keep the screws in a cart itself, not to lose them. And don't forget to remove the bias battery. You don't want to shorten your motherboard with a flat screwdriver.